It's 12.30, midnight, and I'm uh, making cookies. Never, I've made cookies once with an eggless recipe and it was disgusting. And I'm just winging it, I'm just throwing stuff in here and I hope they're good. <laughs> I have really, I have too high of expectations for how badly I'm creating these. All right, this is what they look bo like before going in the oven. I don't know if they'll be good or not. Um, it's really doughy. I feel like I should have added more flour, but also this is just powder. It's not like a hair. Yeah, we'll see. It, the dough tastes better than, I didn't even taste the dough last time I made cookies, so it tastes good, so should be good. Not even filmed on the right angle. I don't know how to make cookies. You wanna see what they look like right now? They're one giant cookie. Hopefully they still taste good. Also, that looks like it might be a clump of butter. It was unfortunate. All right. <laughs> I look a mess. I'm literally eating spicy chips. So I'm just like crying. The George's results came in. All right, guys. The results are in, and then we log in to my email. We're gonna find out what George is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, why am I nervous? Before I get into the email, um, when we got George, we were told he was a Greyhound lab mix, and then by the his previous owners, and then um, his previous owners were friends with my with Brandon's sister. And I was going through old text messages and I found a message from her saying that he was a an American foxhound. And we're like, oh, maybe he's an American foxhound then. But we were told Lab and Greyhound before. Um, we looked up American Grey, or American foxhound and it didn't really fit him. But then we looked up English foxhound and it kind of looked like him. So we're like, oh, maybe she meant English foxhound. That's all we've ever known that he might be. Um, I think he could have some pit in him. Honestly, I don't know, but we're gonna see. DNA testing complete, 10 breeds detected. So he's a he's a mutt. That's what I was figuring. I was thinking it was either like a pretty like big mutt or just um, purebred, which that would be insane if it was purebred, but let's get results. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of squeals. Um, all right, let's view results. Oh my God, I knew it! I knew it! Okay, Um, top five breeds. He's 30% Treen Walker Coonhound. I've never heard of that. 24% Redbone Coonhound. We knew he would have some hound in him because he howls. 19% um, American Staffordshire Terrier. 11% American Pitbull Terrier. I knew he had pit in him. I fucking knew it. 4% Catahoula Leopard Dog. Um... They found two close family members, six extended, and 29 distant. Oh my god. One of the close members is in Texas, and that's where he's from. Oh my god, that might- Wait, but that dog's completely black. But it's got his face. Did we just- Oh my god. Did we find George's sibling? Because he's from Texas, he was, um, he's gonna be seven in March, but we were guessing his birthday around March, so he, it could be a different month, but he, he's gonna be seven this year, and, but anyway, he's gonna be seven this year, and he's from Texas because he lost his family in the Texas floods many, many years ago, when he was, like, a puppy, and, um, and then he got rescued, and then he got rehomed. He got a family here in Nebraska in a different town, and then we 
found him from friendships. Um, and then we were like, oh, okay, we'll take him. That's crazy. He's got Hound, Guard, and Sight Hound in him. He's got 2% Greyhound in him. So it's a 30% Tree and Walker, 24% Redbone Coonhound, um, and then 4% Catahoula Leopard Dog, 3% Blue Tick Coonhound, 2% Black and Tan Coonhound, 2% American Foxhound. So he does have Foxhound in him. It's a very small amount, but it, I think it really shows with his coloring. 19% American Staff Staffordshire Terrier, 11% American Pitbull Terrier, and 3% American Bulldog. He has a Bulldog? <laughs> Brandon always wants a Bulldog. We got a Bulldog. But that's American, not English. And then 2% Greyhound. I can't wait to see Jupies. I mean, we already know it's going to be Lab Doberman and like some other things, but... That's crazy. Wait, his... <laughs> Well, <laughs> it says his ideal weight range is 46 to 75 pounds. He is 93 pounds. I do know that he's a little big. Um, <clears throat> I didn't think that big, though. Because he's, he's still... Oh, okay, he could probably slim down, but I don't think he would slim down 20 pounds. I think that would be excessive because you can see like his spine and his ribs now and so I'm like eh, I don't I don't know how much heat more he could slim down well that's George I'll be back when I've got Jupies all right the results are in for Jupie again I think it's Lab and Doberman Twelve breeds detected. George, oh, bad. George had ten, but they detected twelve in Jupy. She's got a more. It looks more split than him. Okay, sorry if you can see George or hear George crying in the background. He's uh, he's a little baby that wants attention, but I'm looking at these right now, so he's gonna have to wait. What is Jupy? What the fuck? Twenty eight percent Labrador Retriever, I assume that. Twenty two percent Treen Walker Coonhound. That's what George is. George's majority. Oh my God, George's majority Treen Walker Coonhound. Nineteen percent Vishla. I love Vishlas, so no wonder I love Jupy so much. 11% Rottweiler. Wasn't expecting that. 8% Doberman. Doberman Pincher. Let's see what else she is. Hmm. So, 28... There's, like, different categories. There's Sporting, Hound, Guard, Herding, and Terrier. <laughs> So I got a sneak peek. <laughs> oh my god, my face is so red. <sighs> I got a sneak peek of the terrier. 1% chihuahua. <laughs> Jupy. <laughs> it looks nothing like chihuahua. Anyway, 28% um, lab, 90% vishla, 2% flat-coated retriever, and 1% golden retriever. Hound, she's 22% Treen, Walker Coonhound, 2% Blue Tick Coonhound, which George also has Coonhound, 1% Beagle, 
and 1% Plot Hound. And then Guard, 11% Rottweiler, 8% Doberman Pinscher, 4% Australian Cattle Dog, and 1% Chihuahua. <laughs> One percent Chihuahua. She's one percent Chihuahua and one percent Golden Retriever. One percent Beagle and one percent Plot Hound too. She looks like none of those. That's. I can see her being a trim. Wow, that's. That's crazy. she has any relatives zero close that's so odd extended family they're named buddha and my parents chihuahua is named buddha but this isn't a chihuahua this is a different dog two of them are in nebraska One percent chihuahua. What the fuck? Her weight range is supposed to be 43, 44 to seventy three. She is, I believe, seventy three. So, she's on the higher end. Wow, I can't believe George we got from a random family and Jupy we found at the Humane Society here. I can't believe they both have tree walking coonhound. Tree Walker Coon Hound. What are the fucking odds that our dogs are really similar? That's crazy. And Vishla, oh my god, I love Vishlas. So 19% Vishla, oh my god. I have a little black Vishla. They're supposed to be, uh, like, orangey, but, you know, she will do. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's the end of my hair. I was like, what is my hair doing? Well, there you go, folks. That's what my dogs are. Okay, I am sweaty. I literally did a 20-minute workout. I'm still feeling sick, though. I've been sick the past week, and I'm feeling better today. So I'm like, oh, let's just try and work out, try a workout, see how it'll go. I did, like, minor leg stuff. And then mainly just squats and then because I'm doing it at home rather than going to the gym today because it kind of already got late. It's already almost nine and they close at nine. So I'm like, I'm just going to do it at home. Um, and then did that for about 10 minutes. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to walk on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. Usually I start my workouts with a 20 minute walk on the treadmill. I got 10 minutes through and I'm like, I'm like this and I'm pouring sweat and I can't breathe. So and I'm starting to feel kind of nauseous, so I decided to call it quits because my body's telling me to chill out. Like, you're still sick. You need to just rest. So I'm going to get a shower, and then I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. It's like, what is it? It's 8.30. Exactly 8.30. So I'm going to get a shower, relax, and then I work at 9. So pretty good day. It's going to sound like the stupidest goal. Wow, I just got right to talking as soon as I started. Um, it's gonna sound like a stupid goal, but my ultimate goal in life is to end every single night with a cup of tea. And yes, it has an eye on it, because Brandon saw them and he insisted we get them. So he's got a B and I've got an I. But I got some, I can't really show you, I'll literally spill it everywhere. I've got some raspberry tea in here, um, no caffeine. Um, if you don't like tea, you're not going to like this tea because it's raspberry hibiscus. It is very bitter, but I enjoy it. Mm. And it's hot tea, not cold. Also, I've got like my hair in this like clip right now. And I'm like, maybe if it doesn't look bad, I could wear it to work like this, but like style it a little bit better. I don't know. But yeah, that's how my night's going. Workout, showered. Now I'm drinking tea and I'm going to go to bed soon.